Okay, let's move on to size and scope of the universe. Uh, had we had school like normal, Monday when we started up, I would have uh, began class with asking you to answer three very thought-provoking questions. How big is big? How far is far? And how long is a long time? One of the things you're going to have to do to really wrap your head around astronomy is you're going to have to change your concept of space and time. Space meaning size and distances and time. Time for some reason seems to be the toughest one. Now, light. Light year is the distance that light will travel in a year. It is a unit used in astronomy because meters and kilometers simply won't cut it anymore. Uh, it takes light a little over a second to get to us from the moon, a little over eight minutes to get to us from Mr. Sun. Sirius is a star about eight light years away from us. That is a distance, eight light years. And what that means is it takes eight years for that light to get to us. The closest galaxy to us is the Andromeda galaxy, and it is about two and a half million light years away. So when we look at the Andromeda galaxy through a telescope, we're seeing that galaxy as it looked two and a half million years ago. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is about 100,000 light years in diameter. We're about two-thirds of the way, or about 30,000 light years from Sagittarius A, which is the supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy. So every time you look up at the sky at night, you're seeing the stars as they looked in their past. Um, the Andromeda galaxy, a recent picture, would show the galaxy as it looked two and a half million years ago. A light year is approximately nine and a half trillion, trillion, that would be 12 zeros, kilometers, or about six trillion miles. Uh, to give you a little frame of reference, the sun is about 93 million miles from the earth. Now, the universe is approximately 14 billion years old. That will be a little later um, lecture, and yes, we have a wealth of evidence to support that number. So we can't see a galaxy that's 15 billion light years away because that light has not gotten to us yet. So everything we can see is less than 14 billion years old. All right, try to give you a little frame of reference here. This is a scale model, relative size, two-dimensional of the planets. Earth in this picture is just a little over a centimeter. Venus is just a hair smaller than Earth. Mercury and Mars are um, about a third the size of Earth. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. You can actually fit um, a thousand Earths inside Jupiter. Saturn is the next largest planet in our solar system, but it is also the least dense. Uranus and Neptune are about the same size, and I bet you didn't know Uranus was the size of Neptune. Now, on this scale, Jupiter looks huge, but the sun would be over a meter in diameter on this scale. Now, to give you a little other frame of reference, in the bottom right corner is a picture of Yogi Berra hugging Don Larson after his perfect game in the 1956 World Series. 
Um, the upper left is a picture of Joe DiMaggio swinging a bat, and slightly above that and to the left is a picture of Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. And continuing clockwise around is a picture of Duke Snyder. And over in the upper right-hand corner is a picture of Babe Ruth. And then at the top and center is a picture of Jackie Robinson, who always has and always will be larger than life. Now, this is what the planets would look like relative to Mr. Sun. That tire is approximately a meter in diameter, and the planets are on the same board I showed you in the earlier picture, and that would be their relative size. Now, distance is a whole different concept. In this picture, on a piece of paper approximately 25 centimeters long, I put Mr. Sun at one end and Pluto, who is about 50 astronomical units from the Sun, on the other. Okay. On this scale, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars fit into a centimeter and a half. Jupiter allows is a little further away, and then Saturn and then the spaces get larger and larger. You have Uranus and Neptune, and then approximately 20 more astronomical units before getting to Pluto. On the same scale, Proxima Centauri, the closest star to us, would be over 1,300 meters away or 0.83 miles away, so about three and a half laps around a track. Using the same sheet of paper, just to give you a different perspective on distance, if we made that same distance one light year, everything we know would fit into a space less than a millimeter thick. That would be the sun, all the planets, including Pluto, Kuiper Belt, objects, everything, and that would fit into a space about the width of the pen mark. The closest star to us is 4.2 light years away. So while our solar system is empty on the above scale, it's really, really crowded when compared to the rest of the galaxy and the universe. Now the bottom line is a uh, focuses on your concept of time. If we made the length of the paper 14 billion years, which is about the age of the universe, the solar system, our solar system, is about four and a half billion years old, so it's about a third the age of the universe. Dinosaurs would have died out about 65 million years ago, which would have been about a half a centimeter, less than a half a centimeter. So when we think about the dinosaurs, we think really, really long time ago, but they really weren't all that long ago. I hope to have a couple of interactive videos on the size and scope of the solar system for you here pretty shortly.